Itching and burning. Burning, itching, burning, burning, itching. Is this a whole new boom boom? Slip and slide, okay? Tsunami. Tsunami. I was wet, girl. Wet, wet. <laughs> What's up you guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl Ishine, and i'm back i'm back at it again and i promise i'm back for good guys i know now what i want to do with my channel i definitely want to start a hair care journey because I'm gonna grow it out before I shave it all off. But let's get into this video, guys. Today I'm gonna be talking about the Goddess Vaginal Detox Pros by Goddess Detox. And I am so excited. So the product comes with two pearls and it has ingredients in it. It has, um, those are some hardest words to explain. But I did extensive research on the ingredients that are in here and also in their vaginal steam. If you want me to explain all the ingredients to you, trust me. When Corona was happening, I was doing so much research. I know exactly what's in here, exactly what every single ingredient does. So if you want to know that, let me know. But yeah, you get two pearls. You're supposed to keep this one in for 24 hours and this one for 48 hours. They're the same thing. So if you grab one and not the other, it's the same thing anyway. It's just the detoxing process is just different. I've seen a lot of people purge and what comes out of your boom boom baby girl. Oh my god. You'll get this booklet with their Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. It says, your guide to the goddess vaginal detox pearls using Olanikis. I hope I pronounced your name right. Olanikis method. Is that how you say it? I hope so. Please read this booklet in its entirety before beginning your cleanse. We're gonna be doing this together. Um, many of your questions are answered in detail. A lot of the reviews that I've seen on it, so literally the video testimonials that she posts on her Instagram, is that people feel like they've been detoxing their eggs, they detox the bad energy that are in their, you know, your root chakra, because your pum pum is your root chakra, if you didn't know. And it holds a lot of tension, lots of emotion, lots of trauma. So if you've experienced um, sexual trauma, or um, just a very, very toxic, if you've been in a very toxic relationship, or if you just have physical problems, this is gonna be very nice for you. I'm not saying it's gonna be uh, good for everybody, because that's just not correct. Some people might react to it a lot and purge a lot. Some people not, might not purge at all. So it just depends on you and you can go ahead and do your research. Before you begin, let's go over some precautions and FAQs. It says use, use product within three months of purchasing. I guess just like with normal herbs, within time, the herbs will start losing their potency. So the longer you wait with using it, I think the less potent it will be. That would just make sense to me. But okay, it says precautions. Do not use if pregnant, breastfeeding, or hymen is intact. So if you are a virgin, do not go ahead and use this product. The reason she wrote and said that not to use this if you're breastfeeding or pregnant is that some of the ingredients that are in the pearls um, and in the seams are very, very potent. So they will literally detox you. Just be safe, be responsible. Do not use this when you are pregnant or breastfeeding. And you also get an applicator. So these, I'm gonna open it up, are essentially like tampon applicators. I'm gonna go ahead and put mine in because I'm gonna insert it immediately after I film this video. So I just open up my pearl. That smells so good. Now it doesn't smell as good. <laughs> it just smells really good now. It smells like camphor. Okay, so this is the pearl. I'll be talking and doing my affirmations and speaking um, what I wanted to do uh, for me. So I will be right back and then I'll show you how I put it in the applicator. Okay, you guys, I am back. I've done my affirmations. I was even looking in my mirror talking to my poom poom so let's go ahead and unravel this string then you grab the bottom part of your applicator and then you're gonna try to fish this out of it through the other side let's put it in this is what it looks like and now we're gonna go ahead and put our top of the applicator on okay guys so now that we have our pearl in our applicator we're gonna go ahead and insert it 
I of course already said my intentions, all my affirmations, and I did go ahead and looked at my pum pum in the mirror so I can talk to her and basically fill her up with life and healing. So now I'm gonna go ahead and insert it and I'll be right back to let you know how it feels or if I can feel it or not. So see you in a second. Okay guys, so I went ahead and applied it and uh, I don't feel it. So I'm gonna go ahead and come back tomorrow night at around 8 p.m. in Europe. So I'll let you guys know what has happened after 24 hours. So I'll see you then. Okay guys, it's been 24 hours. It's time for me to take out the first pill. <sighs> if I would say I'm not nervous right now, I would be lying. But I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and then apply this one. And the second one has to stay in for 48 hours. So give me a sec, I'm gonna go put this one in. I'll be right back. I'm back. And what I just with me <laughs> wow um i took the pearl out and what i saw was basically what i saw on most videos you know that white um skin like shell like i don't know how to explain it's like encased around of the um around the pearl i think it definitely detoxified and now i put in the second one just like the first time, I don't feel it. Now this one has to be in for 48 hours, so I'll see you guys in 48 hours. But before I go, I want to tell you guys, after I removed the first pearl, I got this like cooling sensation. Um, I think it's just the herb. Probably be updating you guys if I see any drastic changes or if any concerns come up. I'll let you guys know and I'll see you in 48 hours. When I started my pearl journey, I actually forgot that today I had to go to the gym, so Yes, I did work out with a pearl in. I'm not sure if they um, advise not to, but um, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit why I'm telling you I went to work out. Today, of course, was the last day that I had to take the pearl in. So when I came home from the gym, I took out the pearl and I actually noticed that I was spotting on my panties. So there was a spot of blood and when I took out the pearl, there was also a little bit of blood, but I'm not sure if it's my period or just spotting because they said that Spotting is completely normal. I'm not sure if it's because I worked out, so maybe the pressure on my um, pelvic floor and my pelvic muscles just was a little too hard, or if it was just my purging process, or if it actually induced my uh, menstrual cycle. I am not sure. And I probably should have remembered that I had to go to the gym, but it's fine. A lot of people actually say that they experience itching, itching and burning. Burning, itching, burning, burning itching. I actually have not experienced that. Actually, yesterday after I had my shower in the morning, I decided to look at my pum pum. And when I took a closer look, because of course when you're... When I'm showering, I wash myself and I did get bits and pieces of, I think, dead skin um, when I was washing. So I decided to go check. I decided to just go look at my vagina and see what came out um, or why I was getting pieces. And then I saw that on... I'm going a little bit into details, but that's why you're here. You know the outside, like, you know your vulva, you got your inner lips <laughs> and then your vagina hole. Right here, you have skin, right? Um, some people have flesh right here at the inside of the vagina coming out or on top coming out or maybe yours is more to the inside. It doesn't matter. But on the skin right here, I actually saw that there were um, white bits. So I think that skin, because I actually tried to get some pieces off, but I think that part of the skin was actually also shedding. And later that night, I also went to take another shower because I wanted to see if it's actually just my skin shedding or what was going on so i showered and then i took another look but then it was gone so it wasn't white anymore it was just really fresh and i would say pink skin i think it just detoxifies everything on the inside but also on the outside because this charge is gonna detoxify and come out right same process as your body naturally does but I think in that discharge there was also a little bit of the herbs that would make sense and when I got on the skin on the outer part of the vagina I think it also um, made that um, detox I watched a video and this girl said that she's dying and I watched another video and another girl also said that and I was like oh my god 
I don't want to be stanking out here, okay? I work at Lush, if you didn't know. Um, I did not want to go to work smelling because, of course, we're in such a beautiful, well-scented area and then you can smell yourself? Nah, nah. I was like, no, I don't want to smell. Like, I literally have to, like, pop lock and drop and got some bad bumps on the floor so I did not want to be doing all of that. To be honest, who wants to smell? Okay? You get me. You get me. But yeah, guys, I did not experience that, so I was so happy. Um, it was overall such a pleasant experience, in my opinion. Also, repping Curacao. I got the shirt from my daddy. I feel very, very light right now. I'm, I'm not sure if it's just because I just um, took out the pearl. But uh, before I showered, after I took out the pearl, I felt a little heavy. Um, so, and I even got a tiny bit of cramping and on the second day yesterday, I didn't get cramping but I got like this um, like pushy feel on my womb. I don't even know how to explain it but it was kind of heavy when I first inserted it and again today I felt that but um, not necessarily as heavy but more of a cramp-like um, pain. Not pain but uh, feeling. I guess it's just my womb, my vagina getting used to in not being there anymore but now I can take as you can see I can take such a deep breath and I feel very very light and um, for some reason on top of my shit I'm sitting straight like who am I? I usually am slouching okay literally I don't know if you saw me uh, fix my posture but yeah actually you can as you can see the curacao coming out not gonna end this video here I'm actually gonna do an update with you guys tomorrow or probably also in about eight days to actually um, finish off my purging process and then I'll come tell you guys what actually happened within those eight days because of course my journey is not finished yet okay guys so let me tell you about my experience using the detox pearls after I'm done purging last time I spoke to you guys I said that I had some spotting and that I would come back and let you know if it was my period or just regular spotting that can happen after you purge um, or during the purge and it was actually my period so the pearls actually induced my period we're gonna get a little bit tmi right now so if you don't like graphic stuff just exit i mean you already saw what came out of me so if you're still here you probably want to know what happened so i was just on my period right as i knew that was happening i decided to go inside <laughs> and uh, clean a little bit with my fingers so i was like you know trying to help the purging process and not necessarily speed it up but just make sure everything is out so i don't have to um constantly just keep cleansing and wiping and stuff because i have really sensitive skin so if i keep just if i just keep wiping and wiping and cleaning and cleaning um my skin is going to be dry and extremely tender and no no so i decided to just manually cleanse my vagina <laughs> so i just went in with a finger i cleansed it and um well while i was doing that a clump came out so as you guys already saw earlier in this video i actually had some pieces come out so i think it's like dead skin um dead skin cells actually that came out but also another piece of that came out so i was like oh so I am actually purging. That's actually when I knew that I was purging and the process had already started. Let me tell you a bit about the benefits what I actually got from using the pearls. It was so light, guys. Like my period, it was short. Um, the first day, it was not actually painful. Or was it a second day? Um, I'm not quite sure. But it wasn't necessarily painful, but also not painless. A lot of people say that they don't, they don't necessarily get pain um after they get their period but i actually did well it wasn't pain it was more of a pressure you know something i felt something i just felt the sensation of something pressing putting pressure on my uh uterus never felt that before it wasn't a pain i actually experienced before so that's um that's how i can put it into words better for you guys and now that my period is gone also I feel so light, I feel more connected to my feminine energy and I'm very in tune with myself so I really wanted to do this to help um, heal my body from past traumas, past sexual traumas and also detox exes like I don't have them but maybe in another dimension I'm getting Is this a whole new pum pum? Is this a whole new pum pum or what? My libido absolutely increased 
a boom boom. Slip and slide, okay? Tsunami. Tsunami. Yes. I was wet, girl. Wet, wet. Let me tell you, she felt tight, she felt right, she felt wet. And also, I don't experience any odor or excessive discharge, which is absolutely nice. After my period was over, I decided to go manually clean myself again. Look around, feel around if you feel anything that needs to go out. And no, I did not feel anything, but what I did feel and was so surprised by was my walls. So, so, so soft. Like, it is a brand new pump at this point. Like, I was like, what is this? So, when I felt the difference, I was like, wow, these pearls actually do work. I can't wait to come tell you guys this. And now I am here. Guys, would I do this again? Absolutely. Whenever I see that, I might have. I might be having some problems with my uterus, my vaginal area. I would either use the steam or I would try the pearls again. I think I'm, I could probably do the pearls in about six to eight months, just depending on how my womb and my vagina is doing. But if you want me to make more videos on the ingredients that are in the pearls, um, what they are for and what why they're in the pearls, just comment, let me know and let me know. I love researching stuff. I love researching ingredients that might help and benefit people so if you want me to share those with you just let me know i already did the research i'm also in the midst of creating my own body butter so if you want to see after my beauty skin food it's a multi-purpose skin food that you can use for your hair skin nails face everything honey it's not gonna be um oily at all so i think you guys would love that okay guys i would 10 out of 10 recommend these pearls it's amazing i'm not gonna say that it will work for everyone because everybody's body is different i mean that's on period if you really really want to do this for yourself to heal yourself and you want to take a more holistic approach on feminine hygiene i definitely recommend it and a huge thanks to goddess detox like wow your product amazing is this video sponsored absolutely not i'm just talking from my experience my vagina top knot right babe yeah. ah, okay you heard it <clears throat> from the start to now the results just speak for themselves if you want to know for yourself just go ahead and try it but guys thank you guys so much for watching if you want to see more videos like this just comment down below and let me know and i'll see you in the next one ciao Mwah.